The green color, which dominates in deciduous forests in summer, in autumn gives way to other colors. The leaves become yellow, orange, red and brown, what reliably tells that the winter is slowly coming. Shedding leaves before the winter to decorate with them empty branches in spring isn't senseless, and there are many reasons why plants have developed such adaptation to changing environmental conditions. When winter is approaching, valuable substances, which were localized inside of the leaf, are transported to the branch and a special layer of cells appears at the base of the petiole. It is created in a place where the leaf had the weakest construction, for example small cells or lack of tissue strengthening vascular bundles. The green pigment, chlorophyll, has been decomposed and it's not replenishing, so its color doesn't dominate and the surface of the leaf shows other pigments. A cocambium layer is created in this special layer of cells and it blocks the water flow to the leaf, so it withers. When it's done, the cells of this special cut-off layer separate from each other and the leaf falls off. In the place where it was connected to the tree, the cocambium tissue and the layer of secretions of surrounding cells are produced and they heal a fresh wound. Trees cannot afford to keep leaves during the winter, which is a difficult time for all organisms. The foliage has a huge surface that needs to be nutrished, and because of the lower amount of light, plants can't intensively carry out photosynthesis. This surface would also act like a sail or parachute during strong winds, threatening to break a tree, and after a snowstorm would collect a thick and heavy layer of snow. Additionally, after the frost, a layer of ice would be deposited on it, which would also threaten the plant with its weight. It is also worth noting that the leaves are thin, delicate and not resistant to frost, which would destroy their cells. Winter, despite the presence of snow and ice, is also a period of drought for plants, because water, which occurs in the environment, is impossible to gather and therefore unhelpful. In this case, plant cannot afford to lose valuable water, which, because of transpiration, is released to the environment by stomata located in the leaves. When there are more leaves on the ground than on the trees, it doesn't mean that they have become useless. Many organisms use these colorful carpets that help protect the soil and connect it with its creatures from freezing and drying. Many of these leaves will go underground, taken by beetles, which will put them into their tunnels, where the young will be born. They will be provided with food that will allow them to survive the first period of life. The fallen leaves are important organic matter, that will undergo gradual decomposition and reaching the environment. In the layer of fallen leaves, rodents are still active, and for them it is an ideal hideout protecting them from the eyes of predators. Birds or squirrels also use this hideout, hiding food supplies for the winter. A similar strategy may be used by lynxes, but those hiding places are used for much shorter time because predators return to them for the next days to eat some fresh meat. The layer of fallen leaves is also extremely valuable for animals that are able to survive the winter because of it. The fallen foliage is a perfect winter shelter for small animals, such as butterflies, 
But the leaves will also be found in the shelters of other species, bigger, even such big ones as, for example, badgers. In spring, new leaves will appear on naked branches, and although it will be an additional energy expenditure for the plant, it is certainly a strategy that pays off and allows them to survive the winter. However, before it happens, among the fallen leaves will be life, often thanks to their presence.